In Succession Season 4, Episode 4, Honeymoon states, a serious document disagreement arose about whether Kendall Roy's name was underlined or crossed out in a section of Logan's, while designating him as Waster Royko's successor. A writing expert has offered their opinion on the matter. Episode 4 addressed the leadership gap created by Logan's untimely death, which was depicted in episode Priest Connor's wedding, as well as the pressing necessity to choose the company's future leaders. Beside the end of the episode, Kendall and his brother Roman had been appointed as interim co-CEOs, but it's still unclear why Logan had drawn a line beside Kendall's name. Kevin P. Kobaki, a forensic document expert, has examined the situation in Succession Season 4, Episode 4 in-depth, and compared it to actual document forensics. Kobaki claims that there is no way to discern Logan's true objective, despite the fact that he acknowledges that the paper may be thoroughly analyzed to understand how it was prepared. Sadly, there aren't any scientific studies comparing underlining to striking out that could provide us further details on this. Simply said, no qualified expert in the world could determine whether or not this was an underline or a strike -a throw if this situation actually occurred. I should also note that no one in the room brought up Logan's motor control level, so we don't know how well he can regulate himself. That is, how well he is able to carry out fine motor tasks like drawing a line. Although the signature first seems to be rather flowing, the line really appears to have been drawn somewhat slowly and isn't quite straight. We don't know when the line was inserted, thus we don't know what he was capable of back then. Even the process of penning a line accurately would have been challenging if his writing skills had deteriorated. Basically, there are too many known unknowns in this situation for us to be able to draw any conclusions. Logan's intense and suspicious, maybe out-of-date contents, could not be determined in Episode 4 but Kendall was able to use them as pressure to take over as interim co-CEO. It remains to be seen if he would be able to keep this position and even demote Roman to become the only chief of Waste Royko. Despite the news of her pregnancy, Shiv is still a factor, and Logan's close friends are also battling for control of the business. By working behind his siblings' backs and blackmailing fellow employee Hugo Baker to tarnish Logan's reputation in order to improve the perception of the interim appointment of himself and Roman, Kendall betrayed his family in a shocking conclusion. This turn of events shows that Kendall is, in fact, aiming for total control over the business, heeding his late father's reassurance that you're not a killer. This is not for tears, from Season 2, Episode 10, you're about to be a killer. However, Kendall will want more than just a killing instinct to take the crown permanently. In order to gain control over Waster Royko, the siblings may separate and form their own alliances as a result of Kendall's choice at the end of Episode 4. There is no way to know at this point if Logan had meant for Kendall to succeed him as CEO. The following six episodes of Succession will surely feature numerous power moves by each sibling as well as the old guard as they attempt to outdo one another in their quest to succeed Logan.